we're going to go and change it up. We're going to use Cineo HS2s to be able to light our green screen with the green phosphor in there. I'm going to have Eric, my gaffer, who's over on the dimmer. He's going to start bringing up our green screen. Right now it looks, look at that. We've made the green actually black. Now that's when you know you have really nice lighting going on. Look at how beautiful Monette separates out of that with the key light mixed with a nice slightly warm backlight. That looks really nice. All right, so ignite it. This is 5% right here. Okay, you gotta keep on coming. Yet for you, Jane. Rolling it up. Okay, rolling it up. That's 10%. Keep on going. 20. Keep on, go keep on going. 30. Okay, We're hold there. We're probably getting close, right? Keep on going. Okay, I'm gonna jump to 40 now. That's 40. 47. 47% Ooh, Shane. Almost there. 40. You want to come to 50? 40. Yeah, let's commit to 50. Okay, let's commit. Uh, 52.3. Okay. You sure? <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. 52.3. Enter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 55. 55%. Though. And 57. 57%. And 62. Ooh, go back. Go to 60. At 60? Uh, that's 60 there? 58. That's 58. All right. Now look how easy we were able to dial that in compared to the Kino flows. And that's because it's absolute ultimate control with the HS2s. So the Cineos, it's the same thing as the tubes. It's emitting the specific wavelength the screen will reflect, but the difference is they spread much more evenly across the screen with many fewer lights and a lot less space and a lot less power. And a lot less time rigging wise. A lot less time rigging wise. Another thing about the Cineo versus KinoFlow is that the Kino only has so many levels you can take it down, dim it, you know, or make it brighter. Essentially four steps. The Cineo lets you dial in exactly that level you want on the screen, which lets you really get it to the exact exposure you want. Two lights on the left and right side run by just stingers. You're not running head extensions and ballast down on the ground. You're just simply two lights that have an incredible amount of spread filling out the sides is enabled you to get a beautifully lit even screen. A huge part of the success of being able to pull off a good green screen key and nice separation with lighting is the distance that your subject is away from the screen. She is 28 feet away from this 20 by green screen. By having this distance, the green screen is very far away which means it's not on top of her. So let's kind of look at that. Let's have you back in here for a second, just getting closer to the whole thing. And right off the bat, yeah, stop right there. I'm already starting to see all this green contamination that's happening on her, um, on her arm and shoulders and hair. See how it's wrapping the side of her hair? Now watch as she moves forward slowly. You're gonna see that wrap go away, not only because of the backlight, but because we're moving further away from the screen, because the screen is almost like a light source, just like this 12 by becomes the light. When she gets very close to that screen, it just wants to wrap right around her, which is going to contaminate which is very costly. So again, the tape measure is a big part of your success. So right now we have a 20 foot wide screen. And if we go over here and measure in where the Cineo is, that's the center of the light. It's about 
four and a half feet in on each side. So four and a half feet from the edge of the 20 by over, four and a half feet from the edge of that 20 by over, and you're completely spreading this green very evenly. Now, we have a little shadow there, which is from our KinoFlow barn door that obviously with this exercise, uh, it's, it's giving us the ability to show you all the different lights. But how even that was and how beautiful we were able to dial that in is absolutely what you wanna do on a simple green screen like this. You don't need all these Kino lights. You can go with the simple HS2s, two lights, two stingers, all on one circuit in a very small office space environment or small stage that you're doing for uh, green screen interviews and you're up and running and lit incredibly fast. Now we're gonna go into a little easier way, a little faster way to light green screens. What I was showing you before with the rock and roll truss and the material lifts can light very large areas. But we wanna just concentrate on this kind of 12 by 20 swath of green screen that we have. And we're gonna light it with Kino flows from the left and right side. Now this is done by measuring. Measuring is so important when you're doing this because where you put the lights has to be equal distance to be able to pull it off and make it equal across the screen. So I look at this fluorescent that I have here and I'm gonna measure how far it is away from the screen. Thank you very much. Okay. This is 12 foot six. And if you look across the way, that one is exactly 12 foot six as well. It's very important to make everything the same. If one is moved in just a foot, then this side is gonna be hotter. It's very simple, it's photometrics. And if this one's a little back, then it's gonna be a little darker. So now let's pop these on and let's see how well just two kinos from the left and right side to see how we can pull this key. So right off the bat, what's happening with the two cross kinos is it's never going to light the cove correctly. We have that nicely coved and that can only be done from lights going up. Now what we could do, Eric, is we could elevate those lights a little bit to try and help this. But let's see where we are exposure wise because we're definitely uh, down in that area, very, very dark. That's not gonna pull around where her butt is. That's not gonna pull uh, a good a key. So let's try that. Let's go up with the lights and, and just get a slight tilt down to try and, and make that better. You got it. So now we've tilted the Kino flows ever so slightly, and now we're gonna see if uh, that helps us. So we've gained that bottom area now, so it's not so bad. This is a little hot. Uh, so what's your output on uh, the left one? Is They're both high output, four Both tubes. high output. So go to three tubes on the left one. Boom. Okay, now that cleans that up, but now we're looking at this because we've tilted them, we've made this so it's not yeah. uh, even. Exactly. So if Monette went to her right, move to your right, move to your right, move to your right. Uh, so now if we're over like that, that's not gonna be the greatest key over in there because it's dark. So lighting by just using two lights, you'd think it would work with the Kino flows, you can get somewhat of an even field in the middle, but it's definitely falling off on the edges, and it's, uh, a, it's pretty difficult to keep balanced. So going from above is definitely your best recourse. 
Well, let me show you what it would look like if you tried to light the screen with open face 750s that have a very kind of funky field. So let's kill the Kinos. Let's kill the Kinos guys and turn on the 750s. I love that black. Let's go. Oh, bam. Whoa. Okay, flood the, those full flood. I think they are. We'll double check that they're full flood guys. Okay, tilt down on the right one. Open the barn door. Open the barn doors all the way. So we'll just pull all the four barn doors back. Let the full circular beam of the light out. Okay. So look at all these shadows here. The shadows, here. it's very hot. Hot. Okay, let's, let's uh, go measure. Why is that so hot? Flop on the other He's side. a little bit closer on that yeah, you're side. a little closer. Spin your leg so you can go over the top of that. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay. And now but, go ahead. Hang on a second, Shane. Can you pan that light off again? Just pan it off into the bedroom, your light. Uh, there you go, just for a second. Yeah. So look at this single source that's hitting this screen. Look how uneven it is, even within the beam of the source. No, the I know. Especially. It's dark there, it's hot there, it's dark there. Yeah. So lighting it with open face fixtures okay, you can pan that back on is now. not really going to be a recipe for success. Now let's pan it back on. Let's see where pan our distance a more, is. Even. Pan left a little more with that one. Right there, okay, let's try that. That's a little better. 12 feet. So we're 12 feet away from the screen, off on the left and right edge, and we're obviously very hot. So let's go back to a four on our uh, camera and go ahead and click on all the maxis, please. Let's see if we can get in the ballpark. Okay, now where is that light escaping? I'm getting some uneven because I think it's this silver bounce again. Hey Dave, can you go up a little higher with this 12 by solid here, both of these? Obviously the screen is a little inconsistent here. The bottom is definitely falling off. It's dark across there. We could back the lights up even more to try and uh, light that. But again, when you're working with these type of lights from the side, they're always going to fan out across the bottom in kind of a V. And you always have those crisscrosses that are so difficult to deal with that you then have to hang another light on the top to be able to eliminate the crisscross. You end up hanging stuff in the, anyway. Right. Essentially. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Also, if somebody gets back into that area, those, these hard lights are not gonna look very good on them. Correct. So go ahead and back up, Monette. Go into the hard light. Mm -hmm. the, the very back mark you had earlier. Yeah. If you can even get keep that far. Keep on going. Mark. Keep going, keep going. Another few steps, keep going. Keep go back up a little more if you can. We there start getting is. into something like that. When the Kinos were on in white mode, it felt like she was in the environment. You can get away with it more. Yeah, yeah. It, it felt like it was ambience and then she walked into her key light. So these are the kind of things that by lighting a screen this way just limits your possibilities. Yeah, you can see how inconsistent <laughs> the patterns are. I mean, it's graying out here okay, but it's definitely inconsistent. All right. So now let's go to a Fresnel source. So let's go ahead and kill the 750s. And now we're going to bring in Fresnels. So that's 407s we're using. We'll put the 407s in the same spot those were, okay? Open those barn doors. Oh, don't burn yourself. And you can use the same power source your open face was plugged into. Here you go. Lighting with hard sources, you have so many limitations with the ability to just light from above, it's one equal balance. Now, if I'm working in constricted areas, I can't really get the right angle on my Fresnels uh, to be able to do the half single vibe. Because you can see right now that the middle looks nice, but the left and right edges are hot. When I'm able to, to take the Fresnel and back it up enough, I like to use the whole half single trick because obviously this light is much closer to this edge of the green screen than it is over here. So by using a half single, 
you're able to put this in your light, make it so it just does half of it. It scrims, takes down that left side. And then we do the same on the other side and let's go back. Okay, so with those Fresnels, let's lose four uh, Maxi Brute bulbs, Mark, and open up to a 2, 8, and 3 tenths. That's four bubbles off. Four off. Okay, go to a two, eight and a half. Two, eight and a half, that is. Go to two, a uh, four then. Uh, two, eight and seven tenths. Okay. I mean, it's just very difficult to, to get this lit within the physical uh, parameters that we have. Even if we're able to get the lights back, you're gonna still get the crisscross. She's not gonna be able to walk out on the screen. We're not gonna be able to get her head to toe. You're gonna end up lighting it from above as well. Do you wanna show a comparison of the Cineos directly against this from this two Cineos? Yeah, sure. Let's turn off the babies right now, please. Go back to a four on the camera. And that's the Cineo. Okay, so now we're popping the Cineos on and we have a, a beautiful even, that's four on the lens now. Okay, now we have a very even spread. So it's quite a difference from the, um, from the babies. Yeah. We could run these Cineos in tungsten and get the same light spread, the same consistency, but with tungsten, tungsten light if we needed it. Exactly, which would give her the ability to be able to move around. Well. Right. Well, that concludes our Fresnel 750 Kinos on Stands green screen lighting.